Hello, I'm Martin Sheen. Our oceans, lakes, and inlet waterways not only sustain our communities, but also provide food and recreation for a growing population. Environmentalists say that protecting these resources is critical to our survival. New ideas are being used around the world to ensure a healthy future for our most precious commodity. They've become as familiar to seascapes as seagulls, dotting horizons from Atlantic to Pacific. These massive steel sea creatures steadily produce oil and gas to feed an insatiable appetite for energy. While deep under the ocean, their sturdy legs produce a feeding ground of their own. One thing that's happened with the development of oil and gas offshore since 1947 is that every time a platform is placed in the water, it immediately provides that hard surface, that hard structure for a reef to develop. They're called artificial reefs. Countless species of marine life adapt to the invasion of man-made structures by moving in and setting up habitat. In fact, this platform in the Gulf of Mexico has educators and scientists clamoring aboard to monitor its flourishing fish community. This particular platform has a good diversity of the entire food chain. It starts with a smaller fish and goes all the way up to the shark population. And you can see all of the fish and as they interact around this platform, it gives us as photographers a real opportunity to get photographs of all of these different fish to educate people. It's an amazing resource. The, the more hard substrate we have, the more reef development, the more sessile organisms, the barnacles and hydroids and sponges attached to it, algae attaches to it more fish come in. So in effect, we create more biomass and more biodiversity in the Gulf of Mexico. When production ends, however, what happens to these mammoth structures? Typically, the rigs are decommissioned and dismantled, and that means destruction to the artificial reefs. Many coastal states, however, have been working with lawmakers and the petroleum industry to preserve these lush habitats. Some programs allow oil companies to leave behind the underwater portion of their platforms if they give the state half the money they save through reduced decommissioning costs. Now they have an alternative if they can work with the states. If the states have a desire to develop a reef with their structure, they can donate them to the states. And so the states not only get the structure for a reef, but they get money to help manage and research the reefs. Opponents believe the rig to reef programs merely give oil companies a way to avoid their legal obligation to return the sea floor to its original condition. Whatever the debate above surface, Mother Nature continues to adapt below. There are now nearly 200 retired rigs in the Gulf of Mexico alone that a spectacular array of marine life now calls home. The world around us is a complex and fascinating place. We're glad you could join us to explore some of the ideas helping to protect and preserve our natural resources. I'm Martin Sheehan.